Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege for me to participate in the Ministerial Roundtable of the Transforming Education Pre-Summit. I would like to thank UNESCO and all our colleagues for holding this important and timely event. Given the importance of broadening the access to quality education for all, the Republic of Azerbaijan, within its national education policy, takes necessary steps to ensure it. Modern challenges underline the importance of gender balance and equal opportunities for girls and boys to the quality education. Percentages clearly demonstrate that we have achieved the requested balance so far. In the last academic year, the number of students studying at last grade in primary school was over 164,000 with 46% girls. At grade 9, 137,000 with girls percentage 46 and uh, at the final grade students was over 93,000 with 46% being girls. In the recent academic year, 51% of all 185,000 students studying at bachelor level and 50% of all almost 20,000 students studying at master level were girls. Proper educational infrastructure remains one of the top priorities for the government and for the last 15 years, the Azerbaijani government has re reconstructed over 70% of the entire school infrastructure in the country. The Minister takes necessary steps to ensure quality education for all at all levels, with special focus on early childhood education and school preparedness program. Preschool education program of the Ministry currently covers over 80% of all five-year-old kids, compared to only 24% in 2013. Moreover, starting from 2017, a pilot project on community-based preschool education program is going on with the assistance of Haidar Aliyev Foundation and uh, UNICEF. The main goal of the project is to increase the involvement of three to four years old children in preschool education to expand school parents, school community relations, and currently we have over 16,000 children attending this project. In 2021, the Education Student Loan Fund was launched which allowed over 2,900 students to receive loans in the first semester of the 2021-22 academic year. This figure is expected to grow in this and following years, giving more students access to tertiary education. In order to ensure the access to education during the COVID-19 pandemic for students from low income and vulnerable groups, tuition fees of more than 20,000 students were covered by the state budget. The Ministry of Education uh, also continues implementing a number of state programs aimed at supporting the education abroad of the Azerbaijan youth. Currently, we have 124 Azerbaijan citizens undertaking their PhD studies at foreign universities within the state scholarship program. Moreover, state program for 2022-26 on the study of Azerbaijan youth in prestigious higher education institutions abroad has been launched envisaging 400 students uh, studying abroad every year for the next five years. The Ministry also has uh, already started construction and restoration of the education in institutions in the areas liberated from the occupation, particularly in Shusha, Agdam, Jabrail, Zengilan and Fuzula districts. Dear colleagues, at the end, I would like to wish success to each of you and most notably express my strong belief that partnership between our countries will be developing for the mutual benefit of our people. Thank you for your attention.